So we're here, the Cajun Pride Swamp Tour. This is actually the same tour that Will Smith came on because Jada Pinkett Smith thought, he, um, I forget who it was, had a group on. <laughs> John's trying to squeeze him, but you can see behind us, there's a sign. We're just getting ready to go on our boat. Not sure if that's going to be our boat or another boat, but we'll see. Are you excited to see alligators? I am. I hope we see some. Yeah, when I was here, I don't know if we'll see big ones. When I was here eight years ago, I took a different tour with my friend Kristen, and they were small alligators, so I'm okay with that too. But we will see, and we will bring you guys along for the ride. Some alligators, anacondas, and we'll see everything. <laughs> So while you're waiting, they have a little area that's right behind us, and you can see little turtles and alligators. It looks like it says alligator snapping turtles, but it actually says alligators and snapping turtles. The turtles are in this little uh, basin thing right up front, and then behind us, over there, behind John's shoulder, there's little baby alligators swimming, and I still would not get near them because I'm not crazy. But John just asked me if I'd ever go in there barefoot. Just like your ankles. Splash around. No. You crazy? I'd want to see what they would do. If anything. No, thanks. But anyway, you guys can, while you're waiting, just sort of Didn't Chris check Pratt that out. Didn't anything? You never turn your back to the cage. Anyway, you can just hang out and check out the little gators while you're waiting. And uh, yeah. There's another guy swimming all the way back there, if you can see him. They're little baby gators. But I'd still be afraid of them. You can see right there, there's a tiny little gator poking his head out. Just chilling, watching us. There goes one, he's swimming. Look at him go. He do come in the warmer months. This is actually what happens. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on this tour and they actually will, I don't know that they'll kiss them, but they do get that close to them, which is wild. But here's what it looks like when you Come on in. So when you go around Louisiana, you find the swamps and bayous got names. The name of the swamp back here is Mara Paul Swamp, and you got Manchac Swamp. The area covers about 80,000 acres of both sides of the interstate, back of the lake, the railroad track. That's all the big chunk of swamp all the way up front here. Now, some of the swamp on tour is owned by the company, so there's no hunting on the tour, you know, and no catching the gators off of the tour either. So a lot of land that you're going to see is all my Cajun Pride tours. You ride around, you go take a look. First gator spotting. Okay. Teeny little guy. Said he's two years old. Another guy right there. Another little two year old right there, you see. Said he's about four years old. Coming for us. Guys are chilling out on the rock right there. These little guys. All of them should be coming out. Throwing marshmallows. Is just way too cold. It's a marshmallow exploding. Oh, there he goes. Another one. Oh, there he is. Yeah. He's swimming for the marshmallow. Yeah, see that's slow motion. Yeah, see this marshmallow. There he goes. Oh, he ate it. He ate the marshmallow. Yum. It's chewy. Oh, he's right here, the skater, like right by our boat. That's the actual. I mean, he's a lot closer than. Whoa! I don't want to fall in. Look at him swimming. So, right behind me, right there. It's a gator! My hair looks really great right now. It's a little cold, but you can see the gator just chilling. We're gonna go look at some raccoons on the other side of the boat, and we think that's where the gator was swimming to. He's going to get the marshmallow! Ah, get it! Yum! Marshmallows! Delicious! Got some wild raccoons. Eating <laughs> some seeds. Let them get in the house. Sometimes they get in the house and cabinets and food. We get them on the shrimp or sometimes they all that oil. Oh, what? And they come messing it. They getting up in the attic. They go to the any kind of little thing they fall. Oh, that makes everything up. But that yeah, we all. That's what they do. And what you catch it from that area. And it's only a 30 day season. The alligator season, that's the strictest in the state. 
the office. Just and the TV show has helped make a hundred uh, population releasing gators into the wild. Raccoons. There's the gator. And there's the raccoons. Let's try them with a marshmallow and see. Let's try them with a marshmallow and see. Yeah. A half at least. How about that? Wow. And normally charge they jump and people be screaming and crying. And look. Uh, How big is he? Up to it. Come on. Uh, open wide. Oh, um. wow. <laughs> Too cool. uh, to cure it. That would be a hundred dollars for the gift shop. It made us a, a desk corner with your card, with your card in there, whatever. And yes. just a thing on the side of the wall for coat rack. So that's all you. Oh, uh oh, yeah. Yeah. Boy, look at this gator eyeball and both of them. No, don't eat the yeah. raccoons. I hope he's moving. Oh yeah, he is moving. He is I don't want to see him eat him. I can make it happen, Lancha, but I'll leave it be. When no, they no, no. Other, they see each other good luck, and it's a 50-50 shot. Oh, there's two of them in there. Yeah, run, raccoon, he's run! He's 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 no, no, raccoon, go yeah, away, go away. <laughs> Run away. What am I? Oh, look, they're fighting. Oh, look at the right yeah, I see them. Run that away, raccoon. No, 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 no. Look at all these raccoons. Those gators are waiting right over there. Oh, oh! It's like a lot of land back here all over the state. So place that never do rebuild. There's a big chunk of St. Bernard here called Gallico Island. Oh, after 1915, the place got wiped out and never did rebuild. Then it got wiped out again in 1965 with Hurricane Bessie. That when the levee broke and the crevasse broke, that's the first time they had levees uh, busted open was in 1965 with Hurricane Bessie. Just there's a gator hanging out in front of the house. Oh, he's moving. The water coming here seven feet with eyes. The thing about Hurricane Isaac, the eye, the eye of the hurricane Yeah. At one point, when Isaac hit, there was about a 12 period. Come on, boy. <laughs> See, you come out the slime. Where you been up beneath the slime right here? Try a bite? No? Ah. He was just See? swimming. Man, you're not going to go for it, do you? It's too cold. We didn't see the way they are. But let's go back, okay. And the cabin was here. Now, this was all collapsed. Now, but last, and all those years until last year, I kept trying to silicone the old one and screw it down in there. It, it was a mess. It wasn't a moment. So we put a plastic to give an idea. Get a collect the rainwater off the roof. The rain about the That does not look like squigs. When they bring those, that tub was there. It does. And no, so it does. Some of the old cow heads oh, no. and gator heads. Yeah. Behind me is that cabin yeah. over there. And that's the new trip. And uh, that's the only one on this bayou. Like I said, when I came uh, years ago, I went on a tour with Kristen and we. So lots of little houses, which is cool, but this is really cool. This store owns all of this land, so everything here is theirs, and they go and check out the gators. We've seen lots. John is still waiting to see a large one, but we have yet to get to one. I'm going to show you them in a little bit, too. Oh, there's one, babe. Oh, look at the big blue heaven. Oh, oh! Wow, I didn't see it until I passed him up. That's in every net, even on side the road. Off the side the buyer side the road, I weeded him out a little spot where he could put each a couple of net down with bait in the middle. All you got for bait, you tie the middle of the net. You set the net down under the water about halfway. Now some nets are bigger, smaller. This is the two dollar version. That's the cheapest style, and it worked good. If you got a, if you live in Louisiana, you got a dozen of these nets. You'll feed yourself with the nets right on the side of the road, not even with a boat. On the side of the road, on the side of the bayou, on side of the... When that spillway closes and the water starts to go down, oh man, the coverage going to be like that. Right on the side of the road over there. Get them out and they'll put the net back. Get them out and put it back. It usually takes two hours and three pickups to really see what's there. The first half hour, I got three or four, three or four. They're going to be like, Tom, really? That's it? I said, no, that's the first pickup. 
So three or four, three or four, two or three, got one. Okay, well, they got some. Put it, hurry up, get them up, put it back. Another 30 minute pickup. This time I got five or six. Oh, and gosh. Oh, my God. I thought about putting water in the ice chest, but it's too Hold cold. See, yesterday it warmed up. I had water in the ice chest to keep the little gators uh, nice and neat. Now, I took the water out this morning and I put a towel in it. See, that helped me to do that. When I got it two years ago, with the wild fishers, with some of the permits that we got, they're gonna be sure to bloody tea. And this is a little female. I will keep it nice and warm. Now, this is just for the tour. It's an educational program, very strict about how many we got. We just renewed the license earlier this week. How many we got, who we got it from, what we doing with them. That's her turn to do a couple of tours today. She didn't do no tours for about a week. I want it to stay mean and wild. Next month, she goes back into the, to the pieces. They would have already consumed her completely, okay. completely. The raccoon you saw, you thought was so cute, worried about the baby. <laughs> but the figure it goes up there and crawl, they rip her back, was the rip. Feel us off now, you guys, you're gonna feel, feel us off. Looking good with your machine I'm right kidding. there. Now I get it right now. <laughs> but you feel us off? Now you know the raccoon bite right through it. So would your dog or your cat? Hold like that. Oh, goodness, Hold on, go ahead, boy, come on. See right there? Right. The little kids are gonna hold him too, right? Looking good, looking good, huh? Alright, his turn. There you go. <laughs> you want to try you, Pop? I'm gonna come make the round. And all kind of How stuff. does it feel? A lot of rules with that. Yeah. And if I should tell you, somebody show where they gave up and, and tried to show around with a dog like this. Daily run them off immediately. <laughs> yeah, we don't know where they come from or who got it. We just got to hold a baby alligator. What did you think? Uh, I thought it was cool. A little. Nice and soft. Yeah, but I still wouldn't want to be on the tail end of that or the mouth end of that, I guess. But that was pretty awesome that we got to hold to hold an alligator. Last time I did that, I chickened out. I tried to hold it. Again, this is my trip eight years ago, and I didn't do it. I was too afraid. But this time, this gator was a little more tame, so I was able to do it. Kind of cool. Hold keep on. her in there and she'll yeah, just to stay. keep it warm like that, put it to her. Oh, she's so got a towel. Yeah, see that good and nice and warm? And then uh, after the tour is done, she goes back then, in that tank. And then she got I got some of them go back in the... He didn't need to bite me. Hey, buddy. He'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. And he still going, he said he had a plan. What do you think, babe? Some more with the thing. Yeah. Well, now the two bigger ones are probably from the same nest. And the yeah, look at those. Are from the same nest. Look how nasty that other one is. Yeah, he looks he like. He got a smile. He ready to eat. He's full of mud, you see. Now the little guy got a little belly on him. He maybe ate a couple of crumpets already. Here. Mm, we'll get it. Um. Yeah. Oh, oh. Probably gonna go in the log here in a little bit. Here's the cat just chilling. It's breathing, so it's alive. <laughs> but it's just chilling here on the table. We just finished our tour. What did you think? I thought it was good. Where's your favorite part? Um, holding the alligator. Probably. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So we got to hold the baby alligator. If you guys saw already, I kind of freaked out, but I, I did hold it. Again, last time I did not, so I'm really proud of myself. Overall, we had Captain Tom. He was awesome. He had so much information, and what did you think of Captain Tom? So he was good? Yeah. He was really descriptive, had a lot of just personal stories, and just really informational. So overall, really loved it. And we saw tons and tons of alligators. They were all small, which... Again, I'm okay with John was a little disappointed. <laughs> we didn't see <laughs> bigger ones. So if you do come to this tour and you want to see big gators, it's March right now. I said coming around June and beyond, uh, they're bigger. And then in November to about February, March, um, they're in hibernation. So you probably won't see too many if you see any at all. But I would definitely recommend this tour if you get Captain Tom. Tell him we say hi. He was awesome. And uh, comment down below if you've ever been on this tour. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.